Well, Alex, perfect afternoon. Yeah, I'm immensely proud of the boys. Like, it's, it's I think it's 14 years since Gloucester have won away from home against Saracens. Uh, in that time, Saracens have established a bit of a, a legacy, winning all sorts of trophies. So, um, yeah, we've, we've had a good start, half, first half of the season, and uh, today was a real test for us to see where we are. Um, we came up short last week against Quinns, but learned some lessons playing one against one of the, the big big teams in the, in the Premiership. Um, and I'm just immensely proud of the, 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 the effort, really, of the lads from, from minute one to minute 80. Let's go back to the beginning, because it seemed that you were going to try and, and then set the patterns away from uh, Saracens. A little short kick to start the game, turn over possession straight away and put the squeeze on, moving the ball about. Yeah, um, I think you've got to play smart rugby against Saracens. They're, they're too good to just to think you can just drift in the game and find space where you want. They're, they're very well drilled, with a very good kicking game themselves. But I thought our kicking game today was, was really spot on. That testament to the half-backs, um, our back three, um, who, who put us in the right areas and, you know, force just want to be going forward in, on the pitch. And, you know, we, we scored a good try early on with the all, which has been a, a huge weapon for us at the first part of the season. And we came under a bit of pressure with those two yellow cards. And that's probably the most pleasing part of the game, how we managed that, that period, because you can easily concede two or three tries from that. The game goes away from you and then you're chasing the game. But we stayed in the fight and that's probably the most pleasing thing in that 10 minutes. You know, 14-12 at half time, you know, you're in the game. Um, and, you know, a testament to the guys who came off the bench, they really added energy to the team. There's a, there's a mentality about this side, side at the moment, because you mentioned the idea of the two yellow cards bad timing, 14 points yeah. there. But I mean, there are the sort of mental worms that get in and, and try and develop doubt. We saw that a period with the yellow cards, yeah. then another one with the failing to clear, um, get, get clear after taking yeah. the lead with the penalty, yeah. they get the charge down try. Yeah. And then at the end, that scrummage, you just got a nice yeah. clean set piece, put it into that. But Gloucester didn't let that get in their heads today. None of those examples. No, and that's a testament to, to Luz, the captain, the rest of the leaders. Um, things are going to happen in the game. You're going to get, you're going to get smacked in the face, so to speak, at various times. And it's how you, how you react, how you respond. Um, what's the next kickoff? How, how are we going to get initiative back in the game? Um, and we're constantly learning. We're, we're, we're not there yet, um, but this is a really important win for the club. But, but it's all about milestones. I've, I've been doing these interviews for a fair <laughs> few years now, yeah. and I'm going to talk to you about the idea of the away record. Uh, what's that? Five wins and a draw on the road for Gloucester. I'll say that again. Gloucester Rugby, five wins and a draw on the road in the Premiership. Yeah. That's, that's a massive turnover. Yeah, I'll, I'll correct you. I think it's four wins, one draw and one loss. Ah. But uh, anyway, <laughs> one uh, I, I, I just remember every, ga every game we lose. Um, so no, you know, since Saints, I think we've had a pretty good run. And that's the key, isn't it? It's about going away from home. Um, we're lucky. We, we play at a great, great stadium at King's Home and we know the fans are going to come out. And I thought there were a few hundred here today. So thank you to all those fans for coming out and supporting us and making the trip over here. And I hope we made them proud tonight. Well, one last question, Alex. Um, it, it's a week off now. There's, there's no game next. Yeah. What's going to happen in that time? Uh, the guys have worked incredibly hard over Christmas. Um, while you guys are enjoying your turkey and red wine, the guys are at home and bed, going to bed early. We had three games over Christmas. The whole squad played. Um, the guys deserve a bit of uh, a bit of time with their families, just to un not unwind, but just to rest their bodies ready for, for Perpignan in a couple of weeks. Brilliant. Well, thanks very much for all your time this afternoon. We've all loved that. Support, travelling support, players on the field, everybody. Great result. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.